Aries Taurus Cuspers. What is up guys? Welcome to your reading for April 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? All right, so getting straight into this guys, I am doing your uh, reading for you for your month. Um, and I'm doing it in the format of like a mini freestyle reading, um, like what I normally do for monthly readings only i'm only doing about half of what i normally do it, it, it's a mini it's a, it's a mini reading okay so excellent but we're going to get you some messages for the month of april 2020 so here we go let's just dive right into it so it seems that there is um there is a process that's happening here uh and you're needing to be patient with it the very i, I have a pre-shuffle energy here for you guys the first card you have is that that came out here is temperance okay um and i was i feel like you're struggling with this before i even got any of the rest of the cards i was feeling into this and it was like okay well i feel like you're very motivated i feel like you're very uh, you're tr you're looking to move in a certain direction you're doing everything that you can to do so um but i still feel like i feel like you feel stuck you might think you're stuck but ultimately right now you're just needing to let things happen underneath the surface after that came the king of wands which was complete confirmation for me that it's like okay yeah i know you're focused you're ready to go you've been handling business you've got your eye on the prize and yet for some reason you're stuck you're trapped or it's that because there's a little bit of a pause going on in whatever it is you're working towards or whatever it is you're doing in life right now um you're that's allowing your mind and your ego to run amok um and that's not something you really need to allow yourself to do right now because that's going to set you off balance here with this temperance card and maybe throw you out of the vibration of whatever is coming together for you here i get the biggest thing that i'm getting for you guys aries taurus cuspers is to uh, to maintain your focus and don't let your mind run amok here with this eight of swords energy you do have the lovers at the bottom of the deck and part of me is kind of wondering if this has to do with some sort of like divine partnership um i'm even kind of picking up on some on an energy of maybe there is someone that is watching you on the outside from the outside looking in um very intently uh focused on you or what you have to offer or what it is they see for you this could be a very passionate offer that might be trying to come through or maybe is waiting the, the individual is waiting for the right time to strike the right time to make some sort of passionate offer with the lovers here also the lovers is about a choice okay um if this doesn't resonate with love for you uh, i i feel like i kind of want to say yeah you made a choice here but that's but like it's okay if you if you have made a choice here it's a choice you made i feel like it was a long time ago and maybe that's why you're kind of maybe feeling a little anxious or restless right now or maybe feeling a little bit stuck because maybe you're starting to see things come to fruition and you're really wanting to take action but spirit and the universe is like no hold on there's no action to take just yet or there's no more action to take right now yeah okay so let's continue here let's see what else we've got for you guys for my aries taurus cuspers and ah look king of cups okay emotional fulfillment um emotional maturity i, I feel i honestly for some of you i really feel like there's someone on the outside looking in that's watching you that's wanting to make amends i just heard or wanting to make a move in some way towards you but they don't know they don't quite know how to do it yet or they can't see a way, a way in or they're feeling trapped um held back by some reason or for some reason maybe it could be past circumstances between the two of you have put them in a little bit of a position to not really be able to move forward towards you in the way they want and then there's justice well if that's the case then justice is being served on um at this point and this person that's watching you from the sidelines that's wanting to move in that's wanting to strike but who is unable to it's like they're actually in some sort of prison right now whether that is spiritual prison maybe they're actually in maybe they're actually incarcerated or ultimately it's the karma between the two of you that is keeping this person at bay that's keeping this person from reaching out to you that's keeping this person from approaching you um so yes it has to do with karma but also for some of you with the temperance energy that was um uh the beginning or that was the first card that came out it's in order it's like you're it's like you two are in quarantine um in order to work out some of the negative karma to find balance and harmony between the two of you individually so that eventually you can come for come together um in the physical 
Okay. All right. Cool. So let's look deeper into what we have for you guys, yeah? Aries Taurus cusp. Let's get into it. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries Taurus cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm going to give this three shuffles for you guys. Um, you know what's really interesting? I feel like the Taurus energy is really prominent right now um, for you guys, however however that would resonate. Um, and in that sense, I feel it's the energies of stubbornness, of the fixed, uh, the fixed energy. It's like no matter what, you there is an energy of you needing to stay on the current path that you're going on no looking back no deviating from the path and absolute and absolutely not letting anyone in from the past that has that has kind of set you off on this trajectory so like with the lover's energy that was at the bottom of the deck this could have been a divine counterpart situation or a really strong moment of choice where you had to choose yourself over someone else or some Thing else um, and I feel like you most likely have chosen yourself here and you're moving forward in a direction and that tour and the Taurus energy is really coming forward either this is you like you're embodying this energy or you're putting it forward or this is the atmosphere the energetic atmosphere for you it's like there, no, there is no going back there's no stopping tra the trajectory that or the, 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 the momentum that has already started there is nothing left to do than then but, but follow through at this point okay so that's where the, the Taurus energy is coming through in, in this reading. Uh, ooh, last shuffle. Last shuffle. All right. Cool. So let's see what we've got for you guys. All right. Overall energy, we're starting you off, Aries Taurus Cuspers, with the high priestess okay following your intuition following your higher higher guidance i really do feel like either you or maybe this person that's connected to you that's wanting to reach out wanting to move forward towards you or with you i feel like someone is really turning their attention to a higher power to the, a higher belief system maybe even you know tuning into your intuition you could also be in an energy of being very very secretive or keeping your your plans or your goals to yourself but i am feeling like uh, this high priestess energy is also an element of just continuing to cultivate peace in your life this feels very peaceful um, it might be that you are very well nestled into these higher vibrational energies or at least a higher vibrational understanding that is keeping you from worrying too much about some sort of uncertainty. Whereas the other person that's connected to you kind of feels like they're freaking out a little bit because you're not saying anything. You're being very quiet. You're being very, oof. okay, they may see you as being calculated. Um maybe even manipulative, but actually I feel like that's coming from a place of a lower vibrational understanding on their part. You might be acting in some sort of manipulative way, but that's really just for self-preservation. I don't really get that if you are being, I re honestly, I really don't think you're being manipulative at all. I feel like someone else is look, from, again, from the outside looking in, looking on your life circumstances or looking how you're looking at how you're conducting yourself at this point and thinking, Oh, well, they're just being silent or, or, or calculated or calm just to manipulate, blah, blah, blah. When in reality, you're just trying to preserve your understanding and your stability. Underneath the High Priestess, you do have the Eight of Wands. Okay, that's good. Underneath the Eight of Wands, you've got the Page of Swords. But would you look at that? There's that person that's watching you from the sidelines here. And what I get is that they're watching you move, move on effortlessly. Like... <laughs> Eight of Wands, it's like the energy, the air is clear. And it's funny because like this in in terms of communication, this could represent move uh, uh, quick communication, um, communication via email, text message, something like that. Um, but here for you, in terms of like if there is any one any sort of lines of communication between you and another person, it's like that communication is blocked right now. Um, because you're staying silent. 
it's not necessarily that you've blocked them. It doesn't have to mean that you've blocked them, but obviously, or other, and, and, and yeah, I want to say, obviously, you're not really communicating right now. You, you're not saying anything, and someone is here watching you, trying to spy on you. Now, this could also be you, your energy here, just being keeping a very watchful eye of your surroundings, looking for an open window, um, but then also coupled with this Eight of Wands, it's just talking about moving on very quickly. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's the Hierophant now for you. Okay. So there definitely is. Um, and it's interesting because I was looking at this and I was like, wow, it really feels like you've you've gone past the level of, you know, the Hierophant energies. We're learning, um, you, you know, you were learning about the learning lessons in the physical world because the Hierophant is about teaching and learning. And now you've elevated to this high priestess energy where it's like you're above or consciously you're looking at the situation from above the more physical aspect of things. That's very interesting. Um, you do have counterparts, though. The Hierophant and the high priestess are counterparts to each other. But I also kind of feel like that there is a strong level of balance between masculine and feminine energy within you. That is kind of opening doorways and pathways for you moving forward, okay? All right, so let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you. Ooh, sorry, guys. For you, we have... Okay, well, here's the moon. Um, illusions, secrets, maybe fear. Okay, this really could be fear, but the fear is an illusion if there is any sort of fear here. But I'm also kind of getting an energy of intuition, psychic ability, opening up to the higher realms and, and seeing things differently, changing your perspective on things. Um, getting in touch with your intuition is what I just heard. Cycles ending, cycles coming to a close, and there also could be some things that are being revealed to you now from this higher understanding, this place of higher wisdom. The moon is coupled with the Six of Swords. Yeah, see, cycles closing out, things uh, things being revealed to you. There's definitely an energy of moving forward away from illusions, um, old cycles from the past. Um, it could also be an energy of like, you know, maybe you're moving or you're changing a lot and it's just you're just not talking about it. You're just not letting the details be seen. There could be some little bits and pieces here and there that are being divulged that you have to that you have to speak towards. You have to um, let certain people in on or what and whatnot, whatever. But it's really not enough to piece anything together. For like, on, I'm 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 uh, on the behalf of like someone that's on the outside, watch looking, watching in. There isn't enough information that they can get to piece every little thing together to get a full picture of knowing exactly what's going on or what you're doing. Blah blah blah. There is also a little bit of an energy of moving forward in a little bit of a blind state, not exactly sure how things are going to work out or when things are going to work out. Um, but yet, I, I, just, I still feel like you're moving forward confidently, okay? Not, not going to lie. Like, even though there might be some illusion around you right now, there might be some things that are unclear. Um, I just feel like you're confidently moving forward because it's almost as if there's no other option and I don't it's it's not really like that I think it's just gotten to the point where yeah okay it's time to move forward and no we don't have a, a solid plan or no we don't know exactly how things are going to end up but ultimately now is the time now is a better time than any to move forward for you it's just what I'm feeling and so you're doing that second set of surrounding energies for you Aries Taurus Cusper you have the nine of wands um perseverance you're not giving up you're not exactly this is really just um adding to the energies of look I, the narrative that i'm picking up on of look i know it's time to move forward i don't know exactly where we're going i do i sure as shit know where we're coming from and i know we don't want that any longer so we got to move forward here we just got to keep it pushing not giving up not giving up on yourself, not giving up on your dreams, not giving up on your goals. And there's a level of completely disregarding any sort of happenings, um, deception, uh, 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 conditioning, belief systems. It's like literally anything that could stop you right now, you are working on releasing and letting go of because you know it's time to move forward. 
And this not giving up energy is very much not giving up on yourself, which is beautiful. Never something we should ever do to begin with, but... Okay, Nine of Wands is coupled with... Oh, yes, the... the <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak. The Queen of Wands. Getting yourself into alignment with what it is that you want. It's almost as if whatever it is you're moving away from almost broke you potentially and and you got to this very edge of the of the cliff where it's like whoa wait a second this is not the direction i want to be going in this is not what i want to be experiencing and it's almost as if you your your higher wisdom or the understanding of who you are kind of finally clicked in and you were able to wake yourself up from jumping off a cliff that other people were leading you towards and now you're like, no, 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 no. I'm taking my power back. I'm changing this and I'm manifesting what it is that I want. Putting, you're, you're getting into that law of, law of attraction mode. Because I do see the Queen of Wands as a physical embodiment of the law of attraction. The Queen of Wands being a feminine figure. Feminine is about receptivity. Um, also about alignment, being assured of yourself, knowing what it is you want and not being afraid to go after it. Being magical, allowing things to just come to you with that receptive energy. And I see that as the, the physical embodiment of the law of attraction because the law of attraction works in the sense that you get into alignment with what it is that you want. You remain in that alignment that in, with, in terms of what it is that you want. You disregard any sort of dis disbelief or anything that would get in the way or stop you from receiving that. And then you just let it come to you as the universe conspires with you. But this is also the counterpart to the queen of wands. I'm sorry, to the king of wands, okay? So in terms of that, actually, you could be a counterpart to someone that is that is watching you, that is trying to see what you're doing. And, and, and like you have a wall up here with this nine of wands energy. It's like, look, no, no, you don't get to see what I'm doing. You don't get to know the intimate details of how my life is changing. And so you actually could be putting this shroud of mystery around you right now like a cloaking field around you right now with the moon as you move forward because you are not trying to let anyone get in and sabotage this for you okay your chat your challenge in the in your reading here okay the ten of wands interestingly enough because the ten of wands came out for the pisces aries cuspers um but it was in their closing message <clears throat> I feel like your challenge here is to cut away the burdens, um, but also there might be a lot to handle in terms of what it is you're working towards here. Might be a lot to handle. Ten of Wands is coupled with... Okay, there you go. The Knight of Swords. So yeah, this is the energy of cutting away the burdens that keep you from moving forward. And that Knight of Swords energy absolutely is the active um, energy that would do that. Okay, that would be sent in by, like, say, the king or the queen of swords to cut away the riffraff, we'll say, right? Closing message or potential outcome for you guys. We have three of pentacles. Excellent. All right, so rebuilding, self-mastery, teamwork. I definitely feel like there's an energy of you working in tandem with the universe. Okay, that's great. Um, but also, this is just, a, I just, I, so what I see coming forward for you, closing message. Uh, also, I do really feel like this is the potential outcome here, but this is the work that you're doing to continue to build. You're really restarting. You're re you're setting something new for yourself right now, and that's beautiful. But it's like your time, your ten your attention, and your energy is all wrapped up in this right now. And to be honest with you, stay focused there, because it's gonna pay off in the end. You know what I mean? Three of Pentacles is coupled with. Ah, the four of wands. You guys have really overcome a lot. And you've gotten to the point where it's like you really can. You've done a lot of learning. Okay, you've learned a hell of a lot here with the Hierophant. And now you're sitting pretty in this high priestess energy with all this wisdom and a higher understanding, which is allowing you the fortification of the four of wands to do more work, to really better yourself, better your life, and find a greater sense of self-mastery. I really do feel like you guys are actively working on rebuilding your lives in a very physical way, and that's a beautiful thing. All right, so let's let's close this out for you guys for my Aries Taurus cuspers, and um, let's just get a little bit of oracle guidance here for you, just to close out this reading. All right. 
Aries Taurus Cuspers, closing message from the unicorns. Growth. Excellent. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. You guys have really gone through a strong growth period. Let's get, yeah, last card. And nature. Okay. So, oh, over at the bottom of the deck, you do have freedom. And, and you see, here's the thing. It, you are, I, I feel like you are very strongly understanding or feeling this sense of freedom. Um, I feel, but I feel like this freedom is a very mature thing for you. It's not like, oh, I can do whatever the hell I want. So I'm going to go party and like be debaucherous and, and wreak havoc. I mean, okay, that's fun sometimes, but that's not what I'm picking up on here. There's a, there's a strong level of maturity in this understanding of freedom for yourself. And you're, you're, you're being responsible. Okay, you're taking responsibility. You're doing what it is that you need to do to it. Number one, to ensure the continuation of this freedom. But for number two, now that you found this freedom, you're creating what it is that you want. All right. Growth is saying seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. But I feel like this is confirmation that you guys have done a hell of a lot of growing. I mean, you've, you've grown so much, okay, which is allowing you to embody this freedom. It's as if, it's like when you're a kid and you get older and you demonstrate to your parents that you have a certain level of responsibility on lock and now they can give you, I don't know, more allowance or extra, uh, uh, extra um, privileges or whatever. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. It's like the universe is granting you this sense of freedom or, or, or autonomy even. Okay. And then finally you have nature. And I feel like this is a really a card of advice for you guys right now. Um, especially with the, the, the strong element of Taurus energy that I was feeling coming through for you guys here. This says nature, ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature and connect with the elements. So grounding yourself in nature as much as you can right now is really going to be helpful for you in maintaining your course, maintaining your balance, maintaining your direction, maintaining your clarity even, okay? For some of you, I feel like the, um, that's a pretty viable risk right now, losing losing a sense of clarity could really disrupt you on your journey. It's not going to completely derail things, but it could cause minor inconveniences. So you really want to try and stay as grounded as natural as possible, grounded and clear as possible. And nature could really help you with that. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely for the month of May. Yeah, take care. Bye.